Wait a minute, Ross. Ross, at least let me make you a cup of coffee. No, no, honey. I have to uh, stop by my place and get some clean clothes. I've never dreamt I spent the night here. What was I thinking about, anyway? Oh, well, it wasn't like I kept you in leg arms, really. No, but I still enjoyed it. <laughs> I have a hearing to go to. And you look triumphant already. Thanks for the watch. Yeah. Friends again. <laughs> this is going to be the case that makes Ross a hero. He's such a fantastic legal mind. Not to lower the tone of the conversation, but how did our hero wind up in your bedroom last night? Well, actually, he came back looking for his watch. And then I was really bratty and nuts, and I drove him away, which I know you find hard to believe. Inconceivable. <laughs> but I guess he just couldn't stay away. Whether he wants to or not, he really loves me, Mom. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, I have occasionally found myself in the same situation. Loving you, whether I wanted to or not. Thanks, Mom. So, you two going to be moving back in together? I don't know. I don't know. We didn't get around to discussing it. Um, we haven't been together in a long time, and frankly, we didn't say much of anything, really. Would it be okay if I just stayed here for a little while longer? No, of course, but if things are back to normal, don't you want to? Well, that's, that's, that's it. They are back to normal, but it's Ross's version of normal. He'd be happy if we lived, to, lived together like roommates until we were both indentures. I, I did threaten to move out unless he married me. Don't you think I ought to maintain some principles? Well, maybe you want to soft-pedal the principles for a while. So I take it marriage was not brought up? No. But he is back. You're right. Even after finding out everything there is to know about my bad character, I... <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's anything awful I have to surprise him with. No! <laughs> Absolutely not! <laughs> Did you come into, into town for the hearing? The Police Academy graduation is tomorrow. But I've been following the case over and I heard... Well, whatever the reason you're here, I'm glad you're here. You'll be a civilizing influence on the proceedings. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck, Ross. Thank you. I just want you to know that uh, it's okay with me. You and Blake are back together. Thank you. Good luck. Just hold your head high and keep moving. Only woman. Who... What kind of surprise, Henry? What have you heard? A new witness? Ross, were you able to talk to Tommy? Ross, well, leave it. I don't know. I can't bear it if Ross is on the other end of a losing case again. It's just not right. He's so gone. He's worked so hard to rebuild his career. Since he lost his Spalding, it's just not fair. He hasn't lost yet. Uh, well, I don't mean to sound like doomsday, but seeing Senator Collier here really threw me. He's got to be looking at her and thinking about the Senate seat that he gave up for a woman who repaid him by cheating on him. What makes you all so sure that Tommy's going to talk? Dismissing all charges against you, there will be no trial. This court is adjourned. Strongest, 
most compassionate and noble man I've ever known. <laughs> and I love you. 